Hello and welcome to the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. The Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. In our highlights tonight, Cabinet Secretary Defence commissions new housing project in Laikipia County. Chief of the Defence Forces commences familiarisation visits to services, formations and units. Spearheading the renovation of Talanta Sports City Stadium. Major General Fatuma Ahmed officially receives new Kenya Air Force service members. To start us off, Honorable Aden Duale, the Cabinet Secretary for Defence, led a groundbreaking ceremony for a new housing project in Kombuzi area in Laikipia County. The project will see the construction of 788 housing units, part of a larger initiative aimed at addressing the housing shortage within the Kenya Defence Forces. The housing initiative is a result of a public-private partnership which aims to combine the strength of both public and private sectors to efficiently deliver high-quality housing. The new development in Laikipia is a crucial part of a broader plan that includes the construction of 3,069 housing units across the country. The projected housing units will be 788 in Laikipia County, 697 in Gilgil, 120 in Mariakani and 500 units in Nairobi County. As the initiator of the first housing PPP project in Kenya, KDF has once again demonstrated its leadership in achieving critical milestone for the growth of our nation. Through strategic partnership and dedicated efforts, the government is committed to providing sustainable and high-quality housing solutions for military personnel, which will significantly boost their morale as well as enhance mission readiness. General Charles Kahariri, Chief of the Defense Forces, visited Kahawa Garrison and today visited Laikipia Air Base as he commenced his familiarization visit to Kenya Defense Forces service formations and units. The familiarization visits provide a holistic view of the respective services and an opportunity for the Chief of the Defense Forces to interact with officers and soldiers of the service across ranks and file. At Kahawa Garrison in Nairobi County, the Chief of Defense Forces was received by Lieutenant General David Tarus, the Commander Kenya Army. During the visit, Chief of Defense Forces laid a wreath at the Garrison Monument in honor of fallen soldiers and also inspected a half guard of honor mounted by the 7th Battalion Kenya Rifles. CDF sir, nataka kuchukua nafasi kukukaribisha hapa Kahawa Garrison uh, kwa niaba ya officers wote na askari wote wa Kenya Army ujisikie huko kambi ambayo wanaendelea na kazi yao ya kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba majeshi yetu yote ya Kenya Army na sister services wanapata huduma in his remarks general kariri appreciated the invaluable sacrifice and determination of the Kenya Army troops in defending the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country against land based threats taking care of the most important human resource while at the same time ensuring that we have the capabilities to defend our country and to be able to meet emerging challenges. So as your CDF, that is where my focus will be. At Laikipia Airbase, General Kariri was received by Major General Fatuma Hamid the commander Kenya Air Force. Speaking to the troops at the base, General Kahariri reiterated Kenya Air Force's mandate to safeguard the country's airspace and territorial integrity. Talanta Sports City Stadium is poised to become a soccer hub in Kenya, offering footballers top-notch training facilities and spectators a world-class venue to enjoy the sport once completed in December 2025. During a visit to the facility, Mr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defence, said the ambitious project holds the promise of transforming the sporting landscape in Kenya, providing a world-class facility for athletes and sports enthusiasts alike. 
The project being undertaken jointly by Ministry of Defence and the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports aims to provide a platform for local talent to thrive and compete on the international level. Lieutenant General John Omenda, the Vice Chief of Defence Forces, joined other general officers and dignitaries from East Africa Community Partner States in the official launch of the 13th East Africa Community Field Training Exercise, dubbed Ushirikiano Imara 2024, at Rwanda Military Academy Gako in Rwanda. This year's military exercise, hosted by Rwanda Defence Forces, is aimed at bringing together participants from various nations to enhance the readiness and interoperability of East Africa Community Partner States Armed Forces, police, civilian components and other stakeholders in responding to complex and multidimensional security challenges. The multinational event was graced by Rwanda's Minister of Defense, Juvenal Marizamunda, who emphasized the importance of Espirit de Corps among the member states in enhancing integration on defense. Lieutenant General Omenda visited the Kenya contingent to oversee the troops' preparedness for the exercise and urged them to uphold camaraderie with participating countries to achieve mission success. During the intensive exercise, troops will showcase drills such as crowd control, coordination and communication, flexibility and patrolling in built-up areas, thus highlighting high levels of professionalism and skills, and underscoring the troops' dedication to safeguarding mission mandate. Major General Fatuma Ahmed, Commander Kenya Air Force, officially received new Kenya Air Force service members and opened their induction calls at the Moy Air Base Gymnasium Hall here in Nairobi. The induction course is designed to augment training they received at the Recruits Training School in Eldoret. The new service members will thereby familiarize themselves with the Kenya Air Force organization, mandate, structure, culture, formation and bases, among others. While addressing the new service members, the Kenya Air Force commander advised them to show commitment while undertaking tasks. She emphasized that military service requires a higher standard and consciousness of one's call to duty. The course will equip the participants with the necessary skills and knowledge to develop their character and enable them to perform their duties effectively. Moving on, the National Defense University Kenya conducted an integrated four-day program on course design, facilitation and assessment and publishing workshop at the Defense Headquarters in Nairobi. The training themed constructive alignment and course design sought to raise the skill level of the National Defense University Kenya staff for effective facilitation of learning and assessment. The training also sought to enhance the professional capacity to the university staff through workshops. This will have participants fully engage in innovative instructional strategies, curriculum frameworks, levels of learning, innovative pedagogical skills, critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, creativity and innovative assessment, among others. Academics. Professor Anne Muigai, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic and Student Affairs at the University, thanked the workshop facilitators for sharing the knowledge and expertise in the facilitation and assessment of the workshop. While urging the participants to benefit from the well-known scholars under the leadership of Professor Haimba Ongeti, the Head of Teaching and Curriculum at the National Defence University Kenya, Colonel Dr. Charles Imbiaha emphasised the importance of staying up to date with the skills in an ongoing process of learning. The workshop attracted the presence of senior officers, officers, senior researchers, researchers and program coordinators of the seven constituent colleges of the National Defence University, Kenya. Brigadier Dahir Ali, principal of the Defence Forces Technical College, presided over the culmination of the Junior Leadership and Command course at Embakasi here in Nairobi. The Junior Leadership and Command course aims to lay foundation for preparing and equipping service members with tools to exercise leadership and command over their subordinate. It also enables them to be resourceful to their superiors in the prudent management of the personnel at the lowest level of command. While speaking to the graduates, Brigadier Ali commended them for their good performance and highlighted the high expectations from their superiors, peers and subordinates, which will now be set on a higher pedestal. 
The Defense Forces Technical College continues to be a center of excellence, producing students with exceptional skills and professionalism. The 5th Battalion Kenya Rifles held a social event that brought together both serving and retired officers at the unit in Gigil, Nakuru County. The event, which was organized by 5th Battalion Kenya Rifles Commanding Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Jafet Mulwa, aimed at celebrating the unit's achievements and opportunity for a reunion of the officers with their retired counterparts. Speaking at the event, Major General William Shume appreciated the officers for their continued commitment towards the building the unit's esprit de corps, which has been fundamental to the unit's successes. And in sports, Major General Eric Kinothia, the patron of the Kenya Defence Force Golf Association, flagged off the Kenya Defence Force Golf Team, set to represent Kenya at the 15th International Military Sports Council World Military Golf Championship. The Kenya Defence Force Team, led by Brigadier Joseph Murashia, is composed of 11 skilled players who are poised to compete against military golfers from across the world. The prestigious event is scheduled to be held from 16th to 23rd of June at the Elephant Hills Golf Course near Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. Speaking at the flag of ceremony, Major General Kinothia expressed his gratitude to the event sponsors, Kingdom Bank and the Ministry of Defence for their unwavering support. He emphasised the importance of maintaining a positive mindset during the final days of training and throughout the competition. Kenya is gearing up to host the 16th edition of the International Military Sports Council and World Military Golf Championships in 2025, an exciting prospect that adds to the significance of this year's participation. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles. End your viewership next Friday for the KDF Friday Bulletin. The KDA Fraternity wishes all our Muslim brothers and sisters Eid al-Adha Mubarak. I am Sergeant Kasim Ali. Goodbye.